This video will show you how you can present your work step by step using a PowerPoint and what criteria to include when presenting orally. These are three easy steps to follow. If you want to present an article, number one, you need to read the text very well. Second, decide on the main idea, supporting ideas and details. And third, try to represent your ideas visually using a web or chart or any other graphic organizer. Or if you want to work on a project, decide on a topic and search for the information. Second, choose the data or info you would like to include in your project. And number three, try to link your ideas visually using a graphic organizer. If you look at this web, this is also called literature map, which means you are going to map your ideas, showing the links between ideas and supporting ideas and details. So we have basically, let's say, supporting idea 1, A, B, or A, B, C, etc. What are you going to do with this web? Number one, decide on your slides. For example, slide one is your title, slide two is the outline, slide three is supporting idea one, and then we have the remaining slide, and at the end, your concluding slide. Very important tips to include before starting filling your slides. Number one, you need to use words or phrases and never sentences. And then make sure that your slides are simple, clear and use minimal animation so that you don't distract your audience. Check grammar and spelling. And very important, Use Arial instead of Time New Roman. It's better for visibility. In the first slide, which is the title slide, don't change the font. So when you write your title, if it is a long title, the font is adjustable automatically. So you just bold it. And at the end, click the word design in your PowerPoint and choose the dark background with light writing. This is better contrast for your audience to see. For example, this is a sample PowerPoint. So imagine this is the first slide with the title in the middle, bold, adjustable font. And at the bottom, write the name of the author with font 24 bold. If you go to the next slide, we have the outline. You can write the word outline or you can skip it. What you need to show are the supporting ideas and supporting details. It depends whether you have a lot to say in the outline or just pointing the main things without detailing much. So, for example, we go to supporting idea one. It should be font 36, bold and center. And we have the sections now, A, B, C. They are going to be in font 28 and bold. And when you have subsections, for example, 1 and 2, they are in 24. They don't have to be 1 and 2, they are just dashes, unless they are sequence. For example, if you look at supporting idea 2, here the ideas are divided into two parts. On one side, we have A and its sub subsections. And on the other side, we have B and its subsections. For example, if you have advantages and disadvantages, this is the best slide when you have two sides. Or, for example, you can have supporting idea three. We are definitely respecting the font and the bold and the center. Here, for example, you have A as a main section and you have subsections. You have a lot to say under A. There is no place for B. So I move B to the next slide and I write on the top cont apostrophe, which means continued. And I write P with its subsection. The last slide is going to be the conclusion. You don't need to write conclusion at the top, but just write the last words or last ideas in order to conclude your presentation. Now, your PowerPoint is ready. What you need to do, you need to take these criteria into consideration when you want to present your work orally. Very important, make sure your content or your ideas are well organized in the slides. 
you are presenting using a loud and clear voice you're keeping eye contact with your audience you are using appropriate body language and speaking clearly using correct english and correct pronunciation and the most important thing is to make sure that the audience understood what you wanted to tell them if you would like to have more tips on how to improve your presentation skills don't hesitate to contact me and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on my linkedin facebook and website